Then my guiding principle in art is if it doesn't have ambiguity, don't bother. I want a lot of shaky territory. This is the studio where I do most of the work in. It's, I like um, being alone when I work. It's fun in here, you know? It, uh, like, it, there's no windows, actually, for, for etching and drawing. But this type of work lends itself to just being in here by myself. Very few people have seen this yet because I just finished it. This work is kind of like a hybrid between everything I like in mediums, which are paintings, and comics, and films, and literature, <laughs> and to a much lesser extent music. I'm not sure you could bring that in, except for maybe intervals. This project I started in 2008. It's taken like a decade. Now part of that is because it's really hugely uh, labor intensive and expensive. Like this this print, for example, wasn't super hard to take, but it was enormously labor intensive. Like that's the, I track my hours and that's over a hundred hours of drawing. It's That's huge. But the way I did them was I drew a lot in sketchbooks and then started kind of compiling a narrative based on images that recurred a lot. So I'm really interested in working intuitively and then working hard to kind of cobble something out of that. Part of etching for me is marrying weird languages. Like the, the sweat beads here are really comic booky and they're meant to signal a shift into a different realm. And my main interest here is in structurally, like this is a waiting room and you're meant to pace around it as a viewer. It's not meant to adhere to that type of conventional perspective. The text seems to function somewhat exterior to Minmei, my character, and somewhat dryly or critically outside of her, like as if we're inside her head. The approach to the work shouldn't be reverent. The approach to the work should actually be about pure expression in that way. Hopefully, you know, you can kind of transcend whoever you are, which isn't to say that's who I am. <laughs> I need to, <laughs> and make something great. You know, that's my that's my goal.